Good morning traders and welcome to this week's weekly market analysis Tuesday the 23rd of July. We're changing our format a little bit uh, we're going to be releasing the video every Tuesday morning moving forward. All right uh, this week's in terms of data um, we have that the highlights are from uh, Germany, France and the UK we have manufacturing and services um, PMI data due out uh, that happens on Wednesday and uh, we also have um, on Thursday from the US the unemployment claims they're the highlights for this week I've got them all listed here on the side so please take a look um, but that's what's happening this week all right let's start and let's uh, get started with our analysis and we'll kick off with the Aussie US dollar all right Aussie US dollar if you have a look at my chart my yellow marker is over here and what I was looking for was the market going up hopefully pulling down and then kicking forward now where I've got the marker in this whole region over here we never actually had any sign of reversal so no trades have triggered so basically what we were looking for just did not happen so I can remove that now the next logical thing to look at uh, the next key level for me happens actually we're at that level right now and I'll explain to you why I'm looking at this particular level um, you can see that previously this level has been a resistive level there uh, on two occasions even slightly there on a third then we had all this noise and we finally broke through and now it's come back to here it is common that when we get back to that old resistance level that the market can now act as support so what I'm going to look for is to see if I can see any um, strong support uh, candle patterns there uh, reversal sorry should I say occurring in at this support level and then that would be my buy signal so for example what I'm looking for is uh, specifically if I was to get a like a, a red candle and a little blue one as an inside like that or well then tomorrow my trigger would be at the break of that high to become a buyer so this one's where we basically just got to wait for today's candle and we could be triggered into this tomorrow so Aussie US dollar look out for that we're searching for a reversal and then a possibility of a buy there for tomorrow morning all right let's have a look at the euro USD okay euro usd let me zoom out so i can remember a bit better okay so i was tracking a converging triangle there's my marker i was looking for something to occur on the edge and look there you have it it did occur we had a nice railroad reversal there and so if you saw this you would have entered this trade around about there and we're very very close to that level right now so if you it, it has not played out yet so if you uh, feel comfortable with it you could still enter today and we're looking to head in the downward direction so the, the railroad pattern is quite a high probability pattern and it's occurred exactly where we want it to, to happen so let's see how this one plays out for us okay so we're in on EURUSD as a short all right US yen let me zoom in a little bit okay US yen it's obvious what I was looking for I was looking for the market to go up down and to shoot in this direction obviously it didn't happen and throughout this entire section here there is no evidence of a reversal pattern which basically means we would not have triggered so having said that let me zoom out and what's the plan now okay um, look the last attempt and what we were looking for could happen around about here I don't want it to be any lower because I don't really want it to be lower than this if we break that level there so in other words if I break through there then I am no longer looking for a, a dip buy okay so as far as I will sort of accept it would be in this region here but if it doesn't happen there then we've got to sit this out and wait to see what develops next all right so just keep an eye on this one and let's see what happens all right let's move along let's have a look at the GBP USD okay GBP USD clear to me what I was looking for I was looking for a reversal 
there to become a seller. Again, it didn't happen and it broke through solid and we've entered new territory. So now let's reanalyze. Okay, there is a high over there. Let me just put a line over there just so that I remember. I'm just remembering where previous ceilings were. So what I've done is, is I've marked that level across here because I want to see over there. Um, so let me zoom back in. Where is that line that I've marked? Okay, one option that I could do is I... Let me just check this candle. Is this an inside candle? Let me just check the low. 129 over 102. Oh, it's nearly, it's, it's a look-alike. These two candles is a little bit of a look-alike. Um, it's up to you if you want to take it. It's not quite an inside candle, but if it was, basically you could trade it back up towards that level there. Okay, but I will set this one out. So what I'm looking for is either for the market to come down somewhere let me just mark it. Let me get rid of this one. Somewhere in this vicinity here. Okay, I can get rid of this line now. There. Oops, sorry. It's just deleted my, my zone out. Okay, so I'm looking for the market to come towards this area here. Anywhere here, if it shows me sign of a reversal, then I will become a buyer and I'm buying into the trend. And just keep that in mind alternatively if right now it starts to go up I will look for a sell at that level there because that level is a previous high which I have already shown you so I would look for a, a sell in that direction there okay so I'll leave the two yellow markers on um, just to remind me what I'm looking for so if it dips down and I get a sign of reversal then I'm happy to buy in this direction but if it continues to go up and heads towards here and then I get the reversal sign on this line, then I'm happy to sell. All right, so let's see how this one plays out for us. That's the GBP USD. All right, let's have a look at oil, WTI. All right, oil, we had a trade on. It was over there and this one has played out beautifully for us. So this one is complete now. So what's next? Let me zoom out and take a bit of a look. Okay, the first thing I want to do is I want to mark out that level there. And now I'll zoom back in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a marker over here. So what I'm trying to do is if the market comes down here and shows me that it's going to reverse, well then, and I get the reversal confirmation, well then at that point I'm interested in becoming a buyer. Okay, at the moment we're in the middle, so I will do nothing. All I'm going to do right now is also extend that line out of there so that I, I can see that. Okay, all right, so there you go, WTI winning trade, and uh, we're waiting for it to come to us for the next possibility. Gold, let's have a look at gold. Okay, we, we're in this region. Um, congested region and we've finally broken out so that means to me let me get rid of these lines now they're no longer use to me so let me just zoom out a little bit okay instantly what I want to do I have an urge to to draw a line up there okay just I just to keep it in mind for myself and what I'm going to look for is I'm going to look in this area here for the market dipping down. If I get a good reversal here, I'm happy to trade back towards that top line. And likewise, if, it, if I go straight up, I'm happy to look for a sell if I get into that top region again. Okay, at the moment I'm in, the, I'm in between, so I'm just watching. But those are the two things that instantly come to mind. All right, so there you go. That f completes my uh, analysis for this week. Guys, uh, please again take note of um, what's coming out this week. We have German, French and the UK um, manufacturing and services PMI data coming out. So <clears throat> any Euro traders that will move a little bit. 
and also on Thursday we have <coughs> US unemployment claims. That wraps up for this week. Have a great week and I'll speak to you next Tuesday for the weekly market analysis. Bye for now.